Hello and welcome to the second part of uh, building a snake game in, in Microsoft Visual C Sharp. Um, I think we're just going to crack straight into it. Uh, all we're going to do in this tutorial is create a bit of, of direction um, for the snake with user input. So let's, let's go. Uh, right, so we're going to first start off with um, four Boolean variables which are going to be left, right, um, down and up and these are all going to uh, be false because the snake doesn't, well, it doesn't really have a direction um, at the start of the game so we'll just put that in and then we'll come down to key down uh, the event we created in the first part of the tutorial so in here we're going to just create a few if statements um, to make sure that we know which direction the snake is traveling in so we go if e dot key data is equal to keys dot down and is equal to false which is the opposite direction then we want down to equal true and everything else so up up is equal to false oops we don't need double enters here sorry um, up is equal to false right is equal to false and left is equal to false. So this gets a little bit repetitive, um, sadly, but there's only four of them, so we can go through them pretty quickly. So this next one we'll do up and we'll make this down, and we'll make this false, and we'll make this true. And that's the second one done. And we'll make this right and left is equal to false and then this is down is equal to false up is equal to false right is equal to true left is equal to false and then finally left we'll do left and right is equal to false and then down is equal to false, up is equal to false, right is equal to false, left is equal to true. Cool, I think that will do it for the key down event. Yep, no errors, looks good. Excellent, okay, so now we're going to go into the snake class quickly. And we're going to do some short methods which are pretty vital. Um, to getting the snake moving, so we'll make a method called public void draw snake. Doesn't take any parameters or anything like that. And we're going to make a for loop. So for int i is equal to the length of the array minus one. And then we're going to make i greater than zero, and then i is minus. So we're starting from the tail of the snake, working our way up to the head. So it's pretty much reversal of you know you just yeah you're iterating the other way. Um, and then we will set the snake rec i is equal to the snake rec i minus one. So this is pretty much just transferring its position up the snake one, so you get movement. Um, so it's pretty simple. It, 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 hopefully, you can get the concept of that, where it's just every iteration it moves, all its values move up to the previous value or the previous array ahead of it, which values it had. So yeah, it's it's not too bad. Um, once we've done that, we'll go to public void, um, move down. And it won't take any arguments or parameters. 
and we'll just call it draw snake like that and we will um, we will move the snake wreck it will select oh what happened there we will grab the snake wreck and we will select the first uh, element in the array and we will grab the y and we will plus and equal 10 to it so we're moving it 10 pixels or units whatever um, down the screen and we'll need a four of them as well so copying and pasting is usually the quickest way for that and we'll make that move up move right right and move left cool so if we start here we can just change in the draw up we can just change plus to a minus and the move right we can change the x and that's all we need to do for that one and in here we just need to move left we need to change the air, the y to an x and the plus to a minus and that should um, pretty much do it for the snake class now finally we need to before we can get this thing moving is just um, drag in a timer which uh, is actually yeah, which is going to make the snake move we'll, on the right hand side we need to enable the timer or else the snake isn't going anywhere um, and we'll set that to 500 which isn't too quick but we'll see how it goes um, right so we'll just double click on timer 1 and we will come up with the event and we will just go if um, down which is our boolean variable and leaving it with nothing just means it's true uh, if up we'll just make four of these if right and if left cool and all we simply have to do now is put in snake dot move down and we just continue that on through each one so snake dot move up uh, snake dot move right like so and snake dot move uh, left cool so the last thing we need to do is at the bottom here below the if statements type in this dot invalidate which will tell the paint fun oh, which tell the paint function uh, which we used in the first tutorial um, that it just needs to redraw um, what's on the form so hopefully this should work and uh, so and there we go she's moving around the screen very slowly but it's going which is good and um, you shouldn't be able to if you try and push back it shouldn't go back towards the way it's coming so it's all good um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed that um, we're starting to get a bit more interesting so next next tutorial we'll add food and um, and maybe a bit of collision detection so thanks for watching and um, Cheers.